I got the pizza set in, but it's okay. What's up, YouTube? Bobbles and Ball Cards and James Gillum is back with another video. I got James here tonight. Uh, he's going to assist me with doing the pre or the grade reveal. I hope everybody has been good out there. Hope everybody had a great Saturday. Um, we had a long day, but a very fun day. Um, so I hope everybody else out there had a great day as well. Um, so we went to the CSA Chantilly show today. Um, pretty big show that they do, uh, every few months. Um, they had a lot of autograph, uh, guests there today. They had not done that since October of 2019 with the uh, autograph guests. Um, so there's a lot of people there for autographs. I'm going to say um, the show kind of surprised me. Uh, the show area, space, whatever you want to call it, was smaller than I've ever seen it. Um, instead of like the main floor being all for vendors and then the other uh, floor being used for the autographs they actually kind of split the main floor so that was kind of surprising but i was hearing buzz that a lot of people didn't come because the nationals coming up and everything else um so that i guess kind of made sense um overall the show if you weren't into vintage uh, it was kind of hard to really find a lot of stuff. Um, there was a lot of vintage dealers, but not a whole lot of uh, modern, ultra-modern stuff. It was some here or there, but it was definitely vintage heavy. Uh, dealers weren't really uh, looking to buy a whole lot. They were more looking to sell to prep for the National. Um, and they also, as to no surprise, and many other people have said who have attended shows, uh, they had things priced. Some places you can find deals uh, or good pricing. Other places they were uh, they were looking to make some money on their cards. Let's just say that. Um, you know, it was a lot of talk about going to the national and everything. So I'm pretty sure for anyone that hits the national. Um, that show is probably going to be pretty wild. Um, but overall we had a good day. Um, third and long was there, uh, from the group. Um, Mike. we had Mike from the group. Calvin was there. Um, I'm probably going to miss people, uh, or forget people. And I do apologize. Uh, obviously James was there. Um, and once again, a shock to me, but several folks, uh, came up to me, uh, you know, viewed their, uh, appreciation for the channel, um, that sort of thing. And if you're watching tonight, guys, thank you. It was nice meeting all of you. Um, and that makes it a hundred percent, a million times like worth doing all of this, man. Um, it was a lot of fun. Afterwards, we went out to dinner. Uh, Mike and Third and Long came with James, myself, and the missus. And we had uh, something to eat after the show, as we always do. Um, and it's just a good time talking to people, making, you know, making connections, friendships. There was people there, uh, you know, that said they had heard about us from other, either other channels or Instagram posts or whatever, seeing the, the group submissions and everything. So it was a lot of fun. Um, and that's what all this is about. Uh, I'm going to say the, the, the card interest is still high. It's just right now prices are kind of wonky because the market's dipping, but vendors are wanting more. So that's kind of frustrating, but um, it's still a fun time. And you are still able to find some things. So, um, 
I'm gonna start this off. This is not a show pickup. Um, but I'm gonna show this first. Uh, this was a birthday gift that my boy and I see him up there with the cake. It is not my birthday yet. That will be Wednesday. But, uh, Mr. Cards, Guns, and Collectibles pitched in, uh, the missus, uh, I don't know how you want to put it, but she worked all of this out. She talked to James, um, and, and it's kind of crazy. James has never, uh, sold. he's never sold a card, but the missus was able to purchase a card from James and uh cards pitched in for it so thank you brother i really appreciate it i'm still gonna kick your ass whenever i see you um but anyway <laughs> um i do appreciate all of you man um but james sold the missus uh a 56 tops grayback mickey mantle um and this was my birthday gift from james the Misses and Cards, Guns, and Collectibles, a collaboration. Um, so thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, I was not expecting it. I was honestly confused because I thought James had just submitted this. And I was like, no, that's your card. I know he doesn't sell cards. <laughs> I know he loves his mantles. I knew he was building this set. So I was confused. Um, but thank you guys. Uh... Anytime you can obtain a mantle is awesome. So thank you sincerely. I do appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to let, well, I, I'm going to share James's pickups. If you want to call it that. <laughs> More of um, a story. So James picked up and I know guns is going to like this. This is a 52 Wheaties. Um, this is hand cut. It's the portrait. There's also an action variation, uh, but it's Phil Rizzuto and it is graded a six. So really awesome. I know James loves Rizzuto. It's because we celebrate the same birthday. He said because Rizzuto and him share the same birthday. However, James told me he was born in 56, and this card's from 52, so I don't think that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> but it's... But anyway, he it's got him a Rizzuto Wheaties. But I'm going to go ahead and show the show this, man. Um, this gave me goosebumps, and it's not even mine. Uh, the missus carried it around in her bag. Um... This literally gave me goosebumps. I, this is what I love about doing the group subs and knowing you guys is to seeing all of the stuff that you guys submit and everything else. Um, but James brought this down. Um, I don't know if it, it might sit on a stand. How about that? Maybe. I don't want it to fall. I'll just, I'll hold it. Put something behind it. So, I'll just hold it like this so they can see it. Um, so, this was given to him by his wife's sister-in-law. Correct? Yes. Back in the 80s. Back in the 80s. And it was her fa father. Her dad had went to this St. Mary's Fordham college football game. You can see the date there, November 5th, 1938, at the Polo Grounds. And some guy named George Herman Babe Ruth, I guess, used to attend Fordham. And just happened to be there to catch the game. And uh, the gentleman asked, I mean, I don't know why you would ask, uh, you know, for this guy's signature or anything, but... He asked Mr. Ruth to sign the program. Um, and James has had this in his possession since the 80s. He brought it with him. And JSA was at the show. And uh, this got 
a no question authentic Mr. Spence himself, Mr. Spence's son, um, and there was one other uh, autograph authenticator that reviewed the autograph, and they all agreed, no questions asked, this was 100% authentic. Um, it's hard to show it in, in the picture, but... This is bold and clean and clear. I think as you could get from 1938. So it gave me goosebumps when he went to pick this up and they told him we've got good news for you and uh, showed him the certification. Uh, they told him there was zero question about authenticity. Um, so congratulations, James. I know he's getting a custom UV protected, uh, frame made for this so he can display it. Uh, there's a guy at the show, got all of his information, measured it, and is going to make him a custom UV protected case for it. Um, so with, I, I, just another thing that you guys blow my mind with being able to witness. It's just awesome, man. Um, so Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Just holding it is like amazing. So um all right. So I don't have any Babe Ruths. <laughs> um but I did pick up a few things today. Um I sold a boatload of raw Otanis that gave me some spending cash. Um so I'll show off some stuff I picked up. Uh, this isn't no 10s, guys. This is by far from 10s. <laughs> um, I hit the beater boxes, as I like to call them. Um, this one's actually not bad, but I picked up a Don Meredith rookie to work on the, uh, the checklist with guns and JJ. Been having a lot of fun with that, so picked up a Meredith. Um, and then these are from the beater pile, but I, I really like this. Uh, here is a 52 Bowman Mini Minoso rookie card. Here is a Phil Necro. Got a 33 Lefty O'Doul. A 53 Roy Campanella. I don't own a 52 Tops, and this was cheap, and it's Warren Spawn, so 52 Tops Warren Spawn. Got a 57 Clemente. I was really considering a Clemente rookie, but I was like, eh, let's go ahead and just go with the 57. And you'll see why later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 54 Ted Williams. I hope you're awake, Guns. <laughs> <laughs> guns, uh, the card I'm going to show here in a minute, James was like, that's going to make Guns whistle and say, holy shit. <laughs> 54 K-Line. And again, this is from a beater box, so... But it's a K-Line rookie. Um, this one, somebody got scissor happy, but <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Again, this was from a beater box. It was cheap. Uh, but this is 52 Bowman Willie Mays. Picked up to go on the checklist, a Paul Hornig rookie and a three. A 
I got Tom Landry in a four. And then I thought about this card for a long time of whether or not I should pick it up, but I know I don't see them every day. Um, I don't normally buy off-centered cards, uh, but this thing is like, outside of being off-centered, the color and the condition of it is just insane. That's good eye appeal other than the off -center. Yeah, outside of being off center, this thing is like crazy clean. It was the cheapest one at the show. I could talk myself into it, and that's why I didn't get a Clemente. <laughs> um I decided to get a Namath instead. So I can mark the name off Namath off the list, and I'm pretty sure this means I now have both of the most important tall boys that were made, the Kareem and now the Namath. So, I was very happy with that. <laughs> so, a little bit of vintage um, that y'all know I love. Not the highest grades, but I got the cards and that's what matters. So, we had a lot of fun today, guys. And I hope you all have fun with us going over the reveals. All right. I'm going to start it off. Um, this Steven Sanderson didn't have any in this submission, but I sent this card back to get the label fixed. So, Steven, if uh, you're watching, um, your Tatis is fixed. So that will be getting out to you. And now let's get... Oh, I'll go ahead and show this one. I had my Otani fix too. They had the wrong card number on it. They had card number 5 instead of 700. Um, so... That one got fixed. Now, let's get into the show. Thank you all for hanging out. Um... First up, we got Robert, 12 cards. <laughs> Man, 400,000 square feet, what? I'm telling you, even the show today being small, it, it wears you out, man. Yes, it does. All right, here we go. Robert starting off with his uh, Aiton Spectra Rookie uh, Auto out of 49. He got a 9 on the card, 10 on the auto. We got the uh, 21 Tops, 52 Redux Chrome, Alec Baum, and a 10. Got 14 tops update, Jacob DeGrom in a 10. And by the way, I I don't know everybody's grades, but from what I did browsing through them, y'all did really damn good. So uh, here is 95 Upper Deck Bia player uh, Bob Probert, die cut auto. Got a 9.5 on the card, 10 on the auto. Got the hoops, Damian Lillard in a 10. Oh, and another thing I want to mention, um, I'm sorry, uh, but just for all of you out there, um, there was a lot of SGC slabs in the vendor's cases today. Both modern, ultra modern, and vintage. Uh, there was a lot of positive talk for SGC, and anyone that looked at my cards that I bought that I brought with me graded, nobody said anything about oh I don't buy SGC or oh it's SGC I'm not interested. Did not hear that once today. Um, so that is a very positive sign. So I, I meant to share that when we started um but 
you know, as you've seen, the three graded cards I bought were all SGC cards. So uh, there was there was a good amount there. All right, back to the cards. Uh, here is 18 Optic Luca 95. This is 1920 Court Kings points in the paint, LeBron and a nine. We got 96 Z Force Kobe in an 8-5. <laughs> Guns, I just seen that comment. That's funny. <laughs> Saying. Uh, he said, I heard PSA might buy a CVC auction house. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Rookie exclusive upper deck Kobe 8-5. Here is 17 prestige extra points gold out of 50 Patrick Mahomes rookie in a nine. Nice one there, Robert. And then you also got the extra points purple out of 100 also in a nine. So very nice stuff, man. Um... You guys can thank James. He sleeved all of these for you guys. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, he got to witness the uh, the work. He got to witness the work. Oh, what about the one that didn't get graded? Oh, that got stuck in the box. Yes. My bad. This one was these boxes with these card savers. This Lenny Dawson. I already talked to Robert about it. Um, it did not get graded. Um, and I'm pretty certain the reason why, just for anyone out there, um, there is a non-auto version of this, and the card doesn't have anything on it to certify the auto. I don't want to peel this up, but um, there's nothing on it to certify it, so that's why they didn't grade it. Um, I it It's a card that they actually put out autographed, but for some reason the company didn't put anything on it, to actually certify the autograph so all right next up is mile high he has four cards start him out with a neon green i've told y'all before how awesome these look you're here does that not look yeah, like it's, that neon looks so so nice in the black frame but the Jordan Love Neon die cut in a 9.5. Here is Silver Jordan Love in a 10. Right, CVC, but that was actually pack pulled um, because I've seen other ones out there. Uh, that one, they just don't have anything on it to certify it. Um, here is the Jordan Love orange die cut in a 10. And then these are field level, right? Yeah. And then here is field level base Jordan Love in a 10. So got three tens and a nine five mile high. I know you're high on your boy Jordan Love. So very nice on that all right next up got rick moore got 16 cards For anyone interested uh, speaking about the show today, uh, Rick's got a lot of Marvel here. Nobody had Marvel cards. I brought a very nice, that, that Hulk that we pulled. And like, everybody was interested, but they wouldn't be willing to buy it because nobody knew about Marvel cards. I thought that was really, really odd. Um, but there just was nobody with Marvel. So... Um, 
But here we go with Rick. He's got the Impel Marvel Mr. Sinister in a 10. Uh, Mervin, they will not grade or authenticate an in-person autograph card. They will send it back as do not grade. Uh, here's a 90 Impel Marvel The Blob in a 10. Yeah, they don't have a grader there anymore for autographs. You got another 10 on the blob. A 9 5 on the blob. Got a 10 on long shot. Got, this is the uh, Cosmic Spider-Man Hollow. It got an 8. It's a pretty good grade for that card. Yeah. It's usually scratched up. Captain America got a 10. Excalibur got a 10. Fantastic Four got a 10. If you're moving these, Rick, I don't know what they go for, but I would probably be interested in one. I don't know what the price is on them. But double 10s on the Stan Lee. Very nice there. Got Wolverine Hollow and a 7. Uh, this is Magneto in a 6. Here is Silver Surfer in an 8-5. Got Electra in a 9-5. And last up, Excalibur. In a 10. So, very nice, man. Those aren't the easiest to grade. None of them. So, very nice grade. All right. <clears throat> Next up, we have all right. This is Daryl Pohas. He has five cards. This one he requested to not have the autograph graded. It's uh, Superior Picks, Derek Brooks, auto out of 4,000. You did get a 9 on the card. And as you see, they did not grade the auto. Here is 97 Cardinal WWF Stone Cold Steve Austin in a 6.5. Got 98 Cardinal Series 2 WWF Stone Cold in an 8.5.
Got the Gold Hollow Slam, Kevin Dur yeah, Kevin Durant in a 9-5. And then last up, he has a Hoops Winter Lamello Ball in a 10. So, very nice stuff, Daryl. Like I said, man, I think everybody did did really well this order. Also, anybody out there watching, if you don't know, um, this order was shipped out to SGC on June 2nd. Or not June 2nd. What am I talking about? I'm losing my mind now. It took 11 total days. My my mind's going blank now. Um, let's see. The 5th was Monday. So I went back. We shipped it June 28th. They received it June 29th. And we had it back yesterday. So it was like 11 total days, I believe, is what it came out to. So um, if anybody's curious on that and what the turnaround time is looking like. I know some people ask when was this sent in, all that stuff. Um, next up, Ball Cards for You has 10 cards. And I'm just, I ain't even going to hide it. I'm just going to go with it. This is a sweet looking card. I don't care that it's Panini. It looks like the old T206 design. It's a Vlad Jr. numbered out of 90, or 99. The DK206 hollow blue. And he got the gold label. That's a really sweet looking card. So congrats on that one, man. We got a 2020 Select Neon Green out of 49. Adam Thielen in a 9.5. Oh, guys, I've been up since what? What time did we get up? Like 6.30? <laughs> I didn't go to bed till about 1 o'clock uh, last night, um, late night. Up early, at the show all day. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. I'm a little little tired. <laughs> um, 19 Optic Aqua out of 299, Calvin Ridley in a 9. I should say I'm tired, but I'm not tired, if that makes any sense. We're going on adrenaline. Yeah, I mean, I love doing the cards. I love doing these. I love getting on chatting with you guys. Um, sometimes your body doesn't exactly like it, but... <laughs> Here is Prism UFC Instant Impact Green. Amanda Nunez got a 10. Nice one there. This is T.Y. Hilton. Uh, Panini Classics. Blue out of 10. Timeless Tributes in a 9-5. Got this guy. Prism UFC Instant Impact Green. Mr. Connor McGregor in a 10. I don't know, is he fighting tonight? I can't remember. I know there's a fight coming up, but I don't know which day it was. Uh, this is 2021 Parkside. This is the Women's Soccer League Premier Edition. Promising Prospects Red, Emily Fox in a 9.5. Here is Topps M MLS, uh, Icy White Foil, Caden Clark in a 10.
Here is 2020 Prism Fearless Hyper Shaquille O'Neal in a 10. And then here is Bowman Chrome Austin Martin versus Bowman in a 10. So once again, like I told you guys, y'all did y'all crush this order. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Next up, we have. Okay, so if you're on. I was told to tell you to cut the video off for just a couple minutes because I was told you wanted your card shown but you didn't want to see them yet. So full disclosure, I'm giving the warning, cut the video off for like, I don't know, five minutes and come back. Um, oh, no, it is. Card Closet Canada, aka Aaron, he has four cards, he asked you know, he wanted his card shown, but he didn't want to see them. Um, so. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, all that. I'll look at them real quick. Everybody did good. Yeah. All right. Going ahead. First up, 97 Ultra Star Power Kobe and a 9. We got 90 Impel Marvel Venom and a 9. Next up is a 19 Prism Rookie Signature, Kevin Porter Jr. and a 9.5. I don't know how they even knew that was Kevin. Yeah, right? I don't even know if that's his signature. I mean, I don't know how you get KPJ or anything out of that, but that's Kevin Porter Jr. signature, apparently. I, I don't know. Um, and then last up is 2015 Opeachy Update Retro Connor McDavid Rookie in a 10. So nice on that McDavid. All right, if you can hear me, card closet, you know your grades, but you can also come back to watching the video. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, next up is Wayne saying he had requested not to have his revealed, so I'm not going to show them, so everybody knows, Wayne's, um, let's see here, next one, Treasure Experts, he also is on my list, not to show, um, so I'm not going to show them. Right. All right. This person does not mind. All right. Next up, Chris Lewis has 12 cards. Start him off with 06 SP Authentic Future Watch Patch Auto out of 100 of Guinea Malkin. 9 5 on the card, 10 on the auto. Then he also has. He's stacked. Oh, by the way, guys, I also want to apologize. The Perfect Fit sleeves are very, very tight now. Um, I guess we got a new batch in. So they barely fit on the regular slabs. So the thicker slabs, we are not able to sleeve. There's no way they'll fit. Um, 
because they barely fit the regular uh, slabs now. So I just wanted to let y'all know if you wondered why some of your slabs came back and they're not sleeved up. Um, this is Jordan Stahl, Future Watch Patch Auto out of 100. 9 on the card, 10 on the auto. And then follow that up with SP Authentic Limited Auto Auto Patch out of 25. Mario Lemieux. 9 on the card, 10 on the auto. All right, got uh, 18 contenders, rookie ticket auto, Minka Fitzpatrick. Got a 10 on the card, 10 on the auto. We have 92 Ultra Jordan in an 8.5. Got 93 Ultra Jordan in a 7. Uh, this is the 2013 Benchwarmer Vegas Baby Auto Christy Hemi and a 9 on the card, 10 on the auto. Looks like a 10 and a 10 to me. <laughs> Shay, you gonna watch this? You're gonna be in trouble. Here is Ultimate Collection, Ultimate Signatures, Sidney Crosby, 9 5 on the card, 10 on the auto. Uh, I was told currently the thick, the thickest they can do is 160 point, um, but certain patches don't fit right. Uh, so even if it's on, if it's 160. Um, some of them they'll still say is too thick only because like the, the real thick, nice patches sometimes are just too much to fit in there and they don't want to, you know, they don't want to damage the cards. So, uh, here's 89 Donruss, the rookies, Ken Griffey Jr. in a nine. I was also told they are working on even thicker slabs. Uh, they just don't have those. 100% ready yet, but 160 fits a lot of stuff, so um, there's a, a lot more stuff being slabbed now. Uh, 17 Leaf Draft Mahomes in a 9. Uh, Bryce, I, I don't think Noir is too thick. I'm not 100% on that, but I don't think that's too thick. Uh, here is 18 leaf draft, Josh Allen in a 9.5. And then last up is the 94 action pack WWF Sean Richards in a 6. <laughs> so I, if, if anybody caught, I said Sean Richards because on the Mrs. Uh, form, she looked at the autograph and uh, wrote the name on that what the autograph looks like, and the auto on the card or the facsimile auto looks like Sean Richards. So on the sheet, she put Sean Richards, and I was like, "Who the hell is Sean Richards?" It's Sean Michaels. For those that aren't aware. So a little inside joke. <laughs> but nice stuff, Chris. Busting on the misses. <laughs> All right. All right, next up is my local card shop, Card Seller. It has 19 cards. I don't remember what all... I don't know, remember what everything he sent this time. 
I know there's no 52 Jackie with a mantle, but I'm going to have to start talking to him about his uh, vintage stuff and seeing if I can't maybe work some layaway deals or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but hell, let's just start it with a 2000 Bowman Brady and an 8. Is that the one you said had the back black borders? That yeah, see that black? Right. They're tough to grade. So, and the centering was pretty bad on them. Uh, so, the Brady Bowman and an 8. Then we go to a 61 Fleer Lenny Wilkins and a 4.5. Uh, Bryce, the Jackie has not went up yet. Um, it goes up. I think the auction starts on my birthday. So, curious to see what that goes for. Here's the Luca Slam Purple Explosion in a 9.5. Don Russ, Trey Young in a 10. Got 61 in action, sinks a basket, Elgin Baylor in a five. This is Tops Archives, Future Stars, Acuna, Albies, and Gohara in a ten. It's going to Golden Rick. Uh, here is 19 Tops Chrome UFC Refractor. Connor McGregor got an 8. Tops Archives Acuna, 10. Here is Bowman's Best Refractor, uh, 2019 Tatis Rookie in a 10. NBA Hoops, this is the Gold Hollow Slam, uh, Winter Hollow, my bad, Trey Young in a 9.5. Sixty one Fleer, Bob Boozer in a six. Sixty one Fleer, Bill Russell. It got an SGC authentic. Uh, this is 18 playoff rookie wave Josh Allen in a 9-5. Here is 1956 tops Dick Flanagan in an 8. I don't know how in the hell you can still get an 8 on a card from 1956. It's crazy to me. How these have, like, some of these survived. vintage cards have survived when you can pull cards straight out of a pack today and then sometimes not get an eight. It's just crazy to me. Here is the uh, 95 Fleer Metal Nuts and Bolts Jordan in a nine. It's a beautiful card. Fifty six tops grayback Roy Campanella in a five.
Aaron Rodgers rookie, 05 tops, and then 9. Eighteen update rookie debut Soto in a ten. And then last up is the Acuna update rookie debut also in a ten. So he's supposed to be getting even more cards together to send in the July sub. Um. I don't know where he gets this stuff from. He must keep it hidden. <laughs> no, I think he actually there's a guy local that he buys a little bit from every so often. That's what I think he does. But... Alright. Next up is JC, J Cook, seven cards. Start him off. I got 1980-81 tops. Wayne Gretzky in an eight. Nice grade on that. Here is the 77 Star Wars Luke Skywalker in a four. Yeah, I heard Acuna got hurt. I haven't seen any updates as to, like, exactly what happened. Um, I'm trying to be optimistic since uh, Giannis's knee injury looked pretty bad and he was able to come back. That maybe he just hyperextended it, but I haven't heard. I, obviously, I was driving and stuff, but um, uh, he also got two 2020 tops now. Uh, Jude Bellingham, he got two 10s on those. Got 18 finest Otani rookie in a 10. If you guys have modern cars that you want to sell, this guy was pretty easy. Like, I sold what I had as soon as I got to the show. It wasn't even hard. I just took him out, told the guy what I wanted, had some money for the show. Uh, 16 Bowman Chrome Draft, Bo Bichette, first Bowman in a 10. And then last up, 1980 Tops, Ricky Henderson in a 5.5. Nice stuff, Jay. I don't know if you're keeping that Otani, but if you're moving it, probably will sell pretty nice pretty quick. He seemed to be pretty easy to sell. All right. I need to get some more boxes. I have yours here. I'm just kind of rolling okay. along with them. That's fine. Since I know you're not going anywhere on me. Don't want to make it too late, though, because Shay won't. If she walks. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. Um, let me get a couple of these and knock out, and then I'll go into it. All right. Uh, I don't know who this guy is. I'm just going to set these aside. I, the We need somebody to reach out to us. Um, is somebody named Step Back Sports Cards? I kind of, <laughs> I tried to find out who they were. Uh, nothing came up. Um, so I, I don't know who that is. Um, I guess they'll reach out to us and let us know. Uh, but next up, we got Chris Gonzalez. He sent eight cards. Shay's here. He's watching. There you go. I'll, I'll show you his cards here in a second, Shay. Did you get to see the roofs? Did she? She hasn't responded. Oh, okay. All right. First up, Contenders Optic Auto Red out of 199, Antonio Gibson. 10 on the card, 10 on the auto. Then 
Next up, 2020 Mosaic Genesis, Christian McCaffrey. And he got a 10. Oh, you didn't get to see it, Shay? All right. For anyone that wasn't on in the beginning, this is a program from 1938. I'm showing it off again because it deserves <laughs> it deserves its time. Um, but this is a program that Mr. Babe Ruth signed and James brought it with him today to take to the CSA show. And it is now officially certified. No questions asked. Um, authentic by JSA. So, very, very, very awesome piece. Uh, next up, 2020 Chrome Rookie Auto Purple Refractor out of 200. Aristides Aquino, 9.5 on the card, 10 on the auto. Then we have a select maroon die cut, Joe Burrow, and a 10. Oh, uh, how much does a horse cost, Shay? I mean, if I can afford a horse, we can work out a trade. How about that? <laughs> I don't know how much horses cost. If I had the money, we might be able to work out a trade because I would love to own that. <laughs> but I have no idea how much awards cost, so I'm not going to say yay or nay. How about a pony? <laughs> Does it have to be a good horse? How about a goat? <laughs> how much the goats cost? I don't, know. I don't know how much goats cost. I don't know how much horses cost. Um, 2020 select blue die cut Joe Burrow in a 9.5. Oh man, if horses are 500, I will buy you four of them. <laughs> How about that? And I'll even buy some hay and help get it in the hay barn. How about that? I'm just saying. <laughs> Here is Select, Select Certified Silver Tua in a 10. Very nice card. Uh, pretty much all of the auction houses, to my knowledge, except SGC. I don't know of any that doesn't. Um, here is 2018 Prism World Cup Blue out of 199. Rumelu Lukaku got a 10. Nice one there. And then last up is a select 2020 select UEFA Euro nameplate variation silver. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his first name. Joao Felix in a 10. So very, very nice. I told you, you guys crushed it, man. Uh, we don't know what they charge. I've never used an auction house. Uh, vintage and stuff like that doesn't leave my possession. So. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do James's so Shay can see them. She's shopping for horses now, so I don't know if she's gonna actually see them. <laughs> but... Let me know if you find a good deal on a horse shape. We'll work something out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just too funny. All right, James has 26. Um, let me get these out. I told you it's hot in here. I even have the door open. Can you cut the AC on, please? Or cut it down? It's warm in here. Thank you. All right. This is going to be pretty much the same man. 
throughout, but awesome stuff. Uh, 56 top or 57 tops Yankee power hitters Mantle and Yogi and a 2.5. We got 60 tops rival All Stars Mantle and Boyer in a four. They don't really look like rivals, though. They look like they're best friends. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here is 62 post hand cut. Mickey Mantle in a two. Hey, Refractor's still in here. He would definitely be able to help you out, HTF. I knew he was on earlier. I didn't know if he was still hanging around. Or if the missus had put him in timeout. Which, by the way, Refractor, I do have the shirt on. I do represent it at the show. Free Refractor Jones. <laughs> 67 tops. Mickey Mantle in a two. Isn't it funny? Your satchel got a one and that got a two. I know. Oh, this is the one that has the drawing on the back. That's yeah. why. What in the heck? All right, 62, Bomber's Best. Tom Tresh, Mantle, and Bobby Richardson in a 3.5. We got 61 tops, World Series, game number two. Mantle slams two homers in a 4.5. Fifty seven tops mantle in a one point five. We got nineteen fifty eight tops World Series batting foes Mickey Mantle, Hank Aaron in a three point five. The free refractor Jones comment, um, he got on one day during a live chat and was being very nice and asked everybody to go hit that like button on the video. And the missus, for some reason, hit the wrong thing and put him in timeout. So he could not chat for like, what is it, three minutes or something like that? Just for asking everybody to go hit the thumbs up on the video. So <laughs> we kind of came up with the thing. It was it was hilarious. It was an honest mistake. Um, free Refractor Jones. <laughs> Next up is a 60 Tops Rival All-Stars. This is the same one. Mantle Boyer, right? Yeah. Not, okay. Making sure I didn't pick up the wrong stack. In a 3.5. I was making sure I didn't pick up the same card again. Yeah, I think it was one of the first ones, right? Should be this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next up, 61 baseball thrills, mantle blast, 560 foot home run in a four. Yeah, three minute minor penalty. And he was just, his comment was so nice. He got on, asked everybody to go hit the thumbs up. And the next thing you know, I'm like looking at the chat and it was like, has a comment removed or something like that, put in time out. And I was like, what did you do that for? <laughs> she didn't mean to. Uh, 1963 Jello hand cut Mickey Mantle in a 1.5. Always on the Mrs. Poo Poo list. <laughs> <clears throat> That's funny, Refractor. Got 62 tops. Manager's Dream. Mantle Maze in a four. Next 
Next is 1960 Tops All Star Mantle in a 3.5. We have 64 AL Bombers, Maris, Cash, Mantle, and K-Line in a 4. And fireworks. And fireworks. <laughs> James is now witnessing the noises outside are extremely loud in this room for some reason. So I am very thankful that you guys say that it does not pick up the background noise. I don't know why, but it sounds like they're in the room sometimes next up 60 tops mantle in a 2.5 69 tops in a 3.5 you are exactly right sean Exactly right. Here is 66 tops. Mantle in a 2. Here is 63 in a 2. It still blows my mind. That's a two, and it looks good. I mean, it's it, it, it's crazy. The vintage grading is just tough. Sixty-two, the switch hitter, but I I buy the beaters and I love them, so I shouldn't be saying anything. Um, and a one plus they're slab, so that's all. I yeah, I mean it's protected, it, but the cards are just awesome, so. I mean, if you cover up the number, nobody would know what they are. Oh, yeah. It's like that one, up, that 69 up there. And right. You can't tell what's wrong with it. Here's a 68 and a 2.5. I have a 58 All-Star that it, it's all scotch tape up, and it's like... Yeah, Guns, this is James Stack. 59 tops, baseball thrills, mantle hits 42nd home run in a two. If you want a beater, I should give you that one because that is, it's got scotch tape all over it. The oh, what, the satchel? No, the, oh. the 50, uh, 58 all-star. 62 hand cut in a 1.5. Here is 65 and a 1.5. Here is 64 and a 2.5. Then a 58 and a 4.5. And then last up is the 53 to 55 Dormand Postcards Batting Stance in a 3. This is the one you got from the show, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He picked the last show. Yes. He picked this up at the last show that he went and got it sent in, and it got a three. So, very nice. Good stack of mantles. Shay, they'll be coming home. <laughs> you don't have to send those. What's that? You don't have to send those.
Uh, actually, he's got two boxes coming home. <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah, you have the last order. Yeah. yeah. Unless the missus wants to babysit him a little longer. She, she... <laughs> oh, now he's contemplating keeping him here. No, no. no. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna put them in my case. Okay. Well, they are yours to take and do as you wish. There you go. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I got excited. <laughs> <laughs> How about we go from Mickey Mantle to Michael Jordan? Why not, right? We'll go from from Mickey Mantle to Michael Jordan. We'll just do that for you guys. Mike Kaufman, you know it's time for the Jordan Show. All right, first up. 99 Upper Deck MVP Dynamics in a 9. Got 96, 97 Tops Profiles in a 9.5. About 98, 99, Tops Finest. Shay sent you a message. What's it say? I can't read it. It says, thank you, love you, Jim. Hope you are happy with your stack of mantles. And then she said, ooh, I love Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> love Here you, is 98, Finest Jordan in a 10. And as you see, it says no protector. So why don't we go with the matching pair and get the 10 with the protector. We have one with no film and one with the film, which is not easy to get a 10 on. So he has both of them in the 10. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and that's not easy with that film. 92 Tops Archives and a 9.5. I have no idea, Guns, but I love getting to see them. Here is 95 Upper Deck Special Edition and a 9. This is 97 UD3 Jam Masters. This got a 7. Uh, I don't know. I didn't look at the back. You are indeed correct, Sean. You are indeed correct. What? So one's a checklist, one is it? No. So if you look at this card, it's not shiny on the back. And then this one is shiny on the back. So good catch. The no protector. And the reason they signified that is because the back is chrome also. So good catch. Either way, tens on both. Nice. I did not even realize that. I didn't look on the back of it. Here is, oh yeah, uh, the Class Axe Refractor Jerry Stackhouse. I don't know why he keeps sending Jerry Stackhouse, but there's a Jerry Stackhouse. SGC slabbed it backwards, I guess. You know. <laughs> it got an eighth. 
Class X Refractor. We got 99 Upper Deck History Class and a 9. Here is the Mystery Finest, 95-96 Finest, Mystery Finest, which I happened to explain to James about last night. <laughs> And an eight. This is like one of the ones. You peel the back yeah, ball. this would have a black uh, coating on it, right. and you don't like know if it's refractor or any of that stuff. You just peel it off. Here is this is the cool card, the ninety six UD three. Um, it's a crazy die cut, and then it has like that see through. It, it's hard for me to show you all, but you can kind of see it right there. But he got a 9.5 on that. Ninety six Ultra Decade of Excellence and a nine. Here is 2000 Upper Deck SP Game Floor, Authentic Floor, and a 9. Here is 0607 Fleer, Missing Links Material, and a 9. Game used relic. Here is 0607 Fleer Missing Links Material. Game used in a 9.5. Here's one in a nine. They're all the same card. Here's, well, they're different card numbers. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can see there, I think that was that six, that one's nine. Yeah. Eight. Here is 10. This is eight. Yeah. This one's also in a nine. <laughs> That's funny, Sean. Next up, ninety-one, ninety-two Skybox Barcelona, ninety-two, and a nine. Here is ninety eight ninety nine hoops pump up the jam and a nine. They put Jordan in the back. Hey. <laughs> and last up ninety six ninety seven UD three the winning edge. This is a die cut and a seven point five. So, as always, Mike, yeah, nice. love looking at your Jordans, man. I, I I don't know how many times I've said it now, but you have you have some awesome stuff, man. I love seeing all of it. Thank you for sharing.
All right, I guess I'll do that guy step back sports cards or JD sports cards. We're gonna have to change your name up, man. PJ sports. Card. We charge for name changes. Like if you make your name on your Xbox or whatever, and you want to change your gamer tag, we're gonna have to start change, charging for that. <laughs> All right, step back. Got ten. Starting off, this is a 2010-11 Ultimate Collection out of 10. Sidney Crosby, Ultimate Auto Patches. He has a 7-5 on the card, 10 on the auto. I wonder why everybody's so tough on the thicker cards. Uh, mostly because of the edging and the corners, and a lot of these are packaged into the little, like, cardboard boxes. Okay. Instead of, like, an actual pack. So, it can, the, the edges on the damaged. corners get dinged real bad, yeah. This is the, uh, Ultimate Auto Jersey out of 25, Sidney Crosby. 9-5 on the card, 10 on the auto. You would think a thicker car, they take more abuse, but... Nah, it's, you essentially have eight corners on a thick card. Right. 05 Upper Deck Power Play, Crosby, and a 9-5. Nice one here. This is the... 1415 Showcase Premium Star Ruby out of 50. David Posternock in an 8.5. Another cool one. 1415 Ultra EX Jambalaya Brad Marchand. In a nine. <laughs> uh, no, I have a couple more of the smaller orders. I, I don't have them in any order, Seth. I'll be getting to them very soon, though. Uh, 14, 15, Upper Deck, David Pasternak, Young Gun, in a nine. O five o six upper deck victory Alex Ovechkin in a nine. Man, I love hockey cards, so I actually respect this. And me and me and JD talk hockey cards all the time. I don't remember if I was the one that actually told him they had Jambalayas and the old uh, like metal inserts i can't remember if i told him that or if he found them and uh showed them and shared it with me and or what but hockey cards are awesome um here's 13 14 showcase Sidney crosby jambalaya in a nine Got an 86 Fleer sticker, Akeem, and a 7. Now see, you would think this card would be a little more too, because he's blocking magic. Just saying. And then last up is 0506 Upper Deck Power Play Alexander Ovechkin in a 9.5. So very, very, very nice. Congrats, John. You got some sick inserts. A couple, I mean, hell, the Crosby autos themselves are respectable. I mean, Sid... Did one of the best for past several years. 
You got two Ultimate Collection Patch Autos. You can't beat that, man. All right. I got to scoop back and grab some more boxes. Bear with me one minute. All right, PJ, you've been waiting patiently, my man. I know you've been super excited. This is PJ's first sub. I, I, I'm going to go ahead and get yours. They are right here. We got PJ, three cards. PJ has been super, super excited. They get graded. <laughs> huh? <laughs> they get graded. What? PJ. Now nah, I'm just teasing. Oh yeah, <laughs> PJs are PJs are graded. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start off with this one. I don't know what happened here. I can't. I think it has a crease in it right here, but still an awesome card. Eighty-eight, eighty-nine. Fleer, Michael Jordan. And a 3.5. Is that your phone? Yeah. Oh, I was like, what is that? And then 8889 Fleer All Star with the iconic slam dunk in a 6. And then, I know he was really excited about this one. 1960 Tops. Whitey Ford. In a 4.5. Very nice, PJ. And congrats on your first submission. Oh, right. Next up. We have Carl. He has five cards. All right. We're starting off with an 0708 Fleer Rookie Sensation Durant in a 10. We have 01 Upper Deck MVP Drew Brees in a 9.5. Oh, why my stomach's growling? Had that burger and fries. Me too. Here is another 88-89 Fleer Jordan in a 4.5. Do I think Tatis can pull off a 50-50 if he can stay healthy? He's not been too uh, accustomed to doing that portion of the season. Uh, 97, 98 tops Chrome Kobe in an 8.5. And then last up is 2000, 2001 Ultra Kobe Bryant in a 9.5. Nice stuff, Carl. Um, I think the missus said she was meeting with your wife tomorrow. I cannot remember. There's been a lot going on today and a lot was... Information was relayed, but I think that's what she said. 
Uh, next up. Alright. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. I'll bet y'all... 20 bucks. That we have a Josh Jacobs card. 20 bucks. Anybody? $20 bet Josh Jacobs. I can't get the name off. We have Deals McKenzie left. Or next. 11 cards. $20 bet. You might win. But I bet there's a Josh Jacobs. <laughs> Alright. First up. 2020 Contenders. 20 Draft Class Red LaMelo Ball in a 10. This is the 20 draft class Lamello uh, base version in a 10. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you, Sean. I wouldn't fall for that either. Next up, Chronicles Luminance Pink CD Lamb in a 10. Chronicles Luminance Pink Joe Burrow in a 9-5. Thank you, PJ. And don't get discouraged. You did pretty good, man. Uh next up. There's something in there's something in the sleeve right here. I'll try to get that out later. Uh, Chronicles Luminance, Josh Jacobs, and a 9-5. This isn't on the card that's inside the sleeve. So, please. Get that off there. It's probably paper, it looks like. But... I'll re-sleeve this up for you, deals. Put the luminance in a 9-5. Here is the luminance gold out of 10 in a 9. This is Pokemon Eevee Heroes Umbreon VMAX Japanese in a 10. And Deals had reached out to message and say that he would like to let the missus have this. And she is super excited, Deals, so thank you. But we still wanted to show it. In your order to show it came back. Here is the EV Heroes Espeon V Japanese in a 9-5. Piece of Chalupa. <laughs> Y'all are funny. <laughs> I haven't had I haven't had Taco Bell since the the preview. I mean that wasn't that long ago, obviously, but uh here is contenders autograph team helmet variation rookie ticket Josh Jacobs nine on the card, ten on the auto. You sleep over there? No, I'm, I'm here. You hear how quiet he is? I think... Are y'all seeing? Is he taking a nap over there? I can't tell when I'm looking in the little viewfinder thing. I'm enjoying it. Next up is 2020 Mosaic La Liga Yunus Musan. Rookie in a 9-5. I'm just glad you're saying these names, not me. <laughs> hey, I trip up on some of them, man. Uh, Chronicles Luminance Blue out of 75 and a 9.5. This card looks really nice in the tux. The blue pops really well. So, 
as always deals awesome guys jacobs man it, i love seeing what you guys pc and like the players you send in and everything it it's just really cool all right next up we have unc collector got five cards Starting off with a 2000 score, Tom Brady, and an 8. Two thousand upper deck, Tom Brady, and a 7.5. Uh, 07 Upper Deck SP Rookie Edition, Kevin Durant in an 8-5. 07 SP Rookie Edition, 96-97 SP, Kevin Durant in a 9. Uh... I don't know, JJ's uh, actually in another state right now, and he was out on a boat earlier, so um, he might be in the middle of the ocean, I'm not sure. <laughs> 2000 Skybox Impact, Tom Brady, in a 6.5. So... UNC made this one real simple. He said, I'm going to go with three Brady's, two Durant's, and call it a day. So nice stuff, UNC. How many championships is between them? What, nine? Something like that? Can't go wrong there. Bunch of bones. Yeah. <laughs> He already knows his grades. I seen he said he had to get off. I, I thought I already did his. But he does know his grades already. CVC. He's up next. Right. CVC has 20 cards. Start him off with Jordan Love Select. I need to start figuring out. Like, I know. I'm guessing below is 100 is the concourse. I gotta figure them all out. Alright. Yeah. Give me one second, guys. I am being summoned. I will be right back. James will be your entertainment. Yeah, right. <laughs> you want to lose some uh, subscribers or what? <laughs> okay. That's so much All right. Okay. That's fine. All right. I love it. All right. So the missus won't be chatting. She, uh, our daughter just called. She is not feeling well, so my wife is going to go pick her up so she can come home. But she said, everyone, congratulations and thank you. Um, she's going to be driving, so she's not going to be chatting. So I do apologize. I hope I am enough entertainment. If not, I'll put James on here. <laughs> All right. So first up is Premier Level, Jordan Love. In a 10. Yeah, that's funny guns. Here is field level Jordan Love in a 10. Hey, James. Yes. I now need you. Can you move? Sure. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Here is select field level Jalen Hurts in a 9.5. 
Uh, funny story. Um, Jalen Hurts was at the show today signing, and Calvin from the group brought a select field level. Third and Long also brought uh, a select field level. Both times he started signing the card in silver. But on Calvin's, he actually started signing in silver and then switched to black, like what which was requested, and then went to go sign in a completely different spot. Um, luckily, the staff was cool and told Calvin to go find another one at the show, buy it, they'd pay him for it, and then Hertz signed it correctly. But just a heads up, if you go to get Jalen Hertz Auto, apparently he loves signing in silver, so if you want another color, make sure to tell him and don't let him start signing in silver because he'll just grab the other whatever other color and start signing somewhere else so just a, a public announcement on that <laughs> but here's the field level hurts and a nine five justin jefferson field level nine five or sorry ten my bad. Got stuck on that 9.5. Uh, this is the blue die cut club level 9.5. Here is this concourse purple die cut Jordan Love in a 10. Here is select select certified rookies Jordan Love in a ten. This is club level Tua in a nine five. Premier level Tua in a nine. It seemed like out of like CBC's run, Tua was the hardest to grade. I don't know if that's consistent across the others, um, but from the batch CBC sent, it looked like Tua was the toughest to grade. Um, here's the field level Tua in a 9.5. Maybe the guys in Boca just aren't Dolphin fans, even though I think they're pretty close to Miami. I don't know. <laughs> Here is Premier Level Tua in a 9. So as you can see, it looks like Tua was the one that they were, that was toughest. Uh, here's Club Level Herbert in a 9.5. This is Premier Level Love in a 9.5. Concourse blue die cut Jordan Love in a nine. Here's Joe Burrow. This is premier level in a ten, and he actually got two of those. This is Concourse Burrow in a 10. Here is Premier Level in a 9.5. Uh, HTF, I honestly don't know if he got into any garbage time last year. I don't remember hearing anything about it, so I don't want to say for certain. Um, if he has played, it's not much. Uh, here is Concourse, Jalen Hurts in a 9-5. And then last up is Select Certified Herbert in a 9.
So nice stuff, CBC. Uh, I don't know exactly guns. Probably there's three, three there. I could tell you real quick. Four, five. Eight. He got eight tens out of twenty, so just under what is that? Probably like forty percent. Let me get a sip real quick. My throat's getting dry. All right, next up is our cards. <clears throat> we sent 12. Um, I told you guys when I sent these, I didn't expect to do great on them. Um, especially not all 10s, especially because... These were all eBay purchases for the most part. Um, so I got about what I was expecting. Uh, but first up is 17 Select Dalvin Cook Field Level. He got a 9. Got 19 Select Field Level DK Metcalf and a 9. Here is 16 select Zeke field level and a 9. Here is 15 prism silver Tyler Lockett and a 9.5. Seventeen select Alan Kamara and a nine. Yeah, these are mine guns. Got vivid voltage. Uh, this is a full art trainer Nessa and a nine. I've been playing around with the Pokemon stuff, uh, sending a few here and there just to. The centering can be tricky on those sometimes. Uh, here is the second year, Dr. J73, uh, in a 5.5. This is where vintage is tricky because I really thought this card was going to do better. I mean, that thing is. It does look like. It's like nice. So that's where vintage tricks me because that. A 5.5, five, I thought that would do a lot better. Um, this one was. I guess you could call it a disappointment because um, I was hoping to get nines or better, but Josh Jacobs field level and an 8.5. Uh, this one I didn't expect to do well, but it's the uh, Contenders Team Helmet Playoff Ticket Variation out of 199 Tyler Lockett. Got an 8.5 on the card, 10 on the auto. Has that foil surface, so kind of difficult. And then here is Vivid Voltage Secret Rare Gold Galarian Obstagoon in a 10. And so, out of all the selects and everything, I don't even care. Because I hit 10s on both of the two biggest cards in the order. So the select field level Murray got a 10. And then the Soto Finest Moments Orange Refractor Auto out of 25. Got a 10 on the card, 10 on the auto. So 
All the others, they pretty much, for the most part, got all nines, which I'm I'm perfectly fine with that. And then the two biggest cards in the order got tens. So I am not complaining one single bit. That's what happens when you work at SGC. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're we're far from Boca. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Sam Delizo. He has eleven cards. Oh, this has the card that I gotta find a way to get for the next. This, this is the one that she really wants. All right. We're gonna go ahead and start it off with it. What year is it? It's from this year. She actually, I think she bought a box of it at the show. The, it's a new product. Chilling Rain, Secret Rare, Snorlax in a 10. I will, Guns. I I'll, I'll uh, FaceTime you or something when I get off of here. Here is a 2021 Panini Absolute Kaboom Nolan Arenado in a 9.5. Here is what they like to call the Chunky Chew, Vivid Voltage, Rainbow Secret Rare, Pikachu VMAX, and a 9.5. <laughs> That's your Pokemon card? <laughs> 14 Tops Chrome x Fractor Jose Ramirez Rookie in a 10. First Bowman Chrome Mega Box Mojo Austin Martin and a 9.5. All right, well, I'll show you when I'm done, man. Uh, here is 2020 Select Tricolor out of 199 Baker Mayfield in a 10. We got 2020 Mosaic Pink Camo, Justin Jefferson, and an 8. This is a very nice card, um, if this, especially if this guy like does really well this year. Uh, this is Chronicles Prism Black. It's a green prism, but the greens are, autoed, are numbered out of 49. So it's the Prism Black Auto Green out of 49, Tua Tagovailoa, 9.5 on the card, 10 on the auto. So very, very nice card. Here is 2019 Mosaic Pink Camo Zion in a 9. Mosaic Pink Camo NBA Debut Zion in a 9.5. <clears throat> and then last up is 14 Tops Chrome. This guy's been having a pretty good year. Xander Bogarts in a 10. So, very nice, Sam. Got a lot of cool stuff in there, and again, like I said, everybody did really well. There you go. All right, we got one more here, and then is that four? 
Next up is David Mighty. David has two cards. There are two nice cards. 2018 Chrome Sapphire Gleber. And a 10. And then this is the Chrome Update Gold Refractor Auto out of 50. Got an 8 on the card and a 10 on the auto. So two very, very nice Gleavers. Congrats on that, David. All right, give me one minute, guys. I got to get these situated. Getting to the larger orders. This is Mike. Hey, Mike, are you still on? I know you drove all the way back to Delaware. He said he was on. I don't know if he's still on. Hey, nice meeting you too, Drew. I've I've been telling everybody it's so awesome um, to go to the shows and people come up and just you know say they enjoy the channel, they like the content. Um, I never expected any of that, but it is a pleasure meeting you guys. I'm glad um, you know that people enjoy it, and I love sitting there talking cardboard with you guys. Uh, just hanging out, having fun. Have a good night, guns. Don't work too hard, my man. All right. Next up, we got Bryce. I've already talked to Bryce. Bryce has already seen his grades. I'm going to tell you. If I was a grader, y'all would hate me because apparently I'm pretty damn strict. Or something I don't know um, but anyway Bryce did very well <laughs> he did very damn well so um, this is the one he's been wanting to see Been talking about it spectra radiant rookie patch auto neon orange out of 10 Jordan love 10 on the auto 10 on the card Next up, 96 Flare Showcase, row 2, Kobe in an 8.5. Uh, 85 Tops, Warren Moon Rookie in an 8.5. Uh, it was pretty good, Mile High. I think... Um, I think a lot of people were prepping for the national uh a lot of vintage there but a lot of lot of talk about the national um and there wasn't as many vendors because people said a lot were you know since the national was coming up so quick they they didn't want to pay for the tables and all that stuff they wanted to prepare and everything so makes perfect sense but uh, 96 SPX Michael Jordan Hollow in a 9.5. I love this card because I can play with it on the camera and make him smile. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is 99 Upper Deck Athlete of the Century Michael Jordan 8.5. Nineteen eighty five tops USFL Steve Young in an eight point five. Uh, twenty twenty select field level maroon Joe Burrow in a ten.
Here's a maroon, uh, or not maroon, uh, tricolor die cut, Joe Burrow, and an 8 5. Here is a tricolor in a nine. Here is a blue die cut in a ten. This is the premier level die cut, tricolor in a nine five. Here's the 2013 Topps Chrome X Fractor Tom Brady in a 9. '86 Topps Steve Young in a 6. Ninety six, ninety seven metal fresh foundation, Kobe in a nine. Ninety nine, two thousand tops, Prodigy, Kobe in a ten. Here's purple die cut. Field level burrow got two tens. Cyber metal Kobe in a nine five. This is 05 Ultimate Collection, Ultimate Signatures out of 75, Alex Rodriguez, 9 on the card, 10 on the auto. O eight Tops, Kobe Bryant, 9-5. This is 05 UD Reflections, red out of 100, uh, Fabric Reflections, Kobe, and a 9. Here is Panini Gold Standard Prime Rookie Jersey Auto Double, Jalen Rager, out of 49. 9 on the card, 10 on the auto. Here is blue die cut burrow in a 10. 99. Neon green die cut Joe Burrow in a 10. 99. Light blue die cut Joe Burrow in a 10. Ninety nine Upper Deck Athlete of the Century Jordan in a ten. Flawless Hall of Fame Auto out of twenty Bob Greasy nine on the card, ten on the auto. Then last up. Panini 2018 Panini Cyber Monday material numbered out of 50 Kobe and a 10. So very nice, Bryce. Congratulations, my man. I know you were a little disappointed last order. Hopefully, this one made up for it.
All right. Thank you, sir. Oh, I'm hitting my camera stand. Sean said, yay, Argentina wins Copa. And now he's saying, yay, he gets to see his cards. Fix the camera after I knocked it all out of whack. Hopefully everything is okay. The missus will not have a way to get in contact with me because I have my phone on airplane mode. <laughs> All right. First up, uh, Alex Morgan, he sent this in. Um, they did not grade it. I'm guessing because this is like a promotional card or something. I don't really know. Um, I would have thought it was okay, but maybe it's not a team. I, I don't know. So, that one did not get graded. But let's get into what we did. Or what did get graded. 92 grid motor card, Ayrton Senna in a 10. Twenty twelve tops trumps Usain Bolt Gold in a ten. Twenty twenty Phoenix Fireburst Justin Herbert in a ten. Twenty twenty top trumps top women athletes Katie Ledecky in a ten. Two thousand one E tops Ichiro Suzuki in a nine five. 2020 tops now, Formula One, Pierre Gasly in a 10. 2018-19 Panini FIFA 365, Grayback, Phil Fodden in a 9. 'd they can't grade something if it's not an official card that would be assuming they would grade reprints and everything else and they are not allowed to do that there would that would devalue the company like even GMA has stopped grading uh reprints or the ACO cards and all that stuff if they just graded everything um it would seriously put a lot of stuff into question. So, uh, 2020 tops F1 stickers, Max Verstappen in a 10. They only grade stuff that is officially licensed. like licensed. Here is a 2020 F1 Max Verstappen in a nine. Twenty twenty F one McShoemacher in a ten. He's got the Lewis Hamilton sticker in a ten. Hamilton sticker in a nine five. 2013 tops mini gold out of 50 Travis Kelsey in a 9.5 
Promo cards are issued from an officially licensed company they can do. But just like promo card promo cards, they can't. I don't make the rules. I just uh, I'll send the cards. <laughs> 2020 top trumps, top women athletes, Simone Biles, 9.5. Here is 2019 Panini Foot, Eduardo Camavinga in a nine. Uh, mile high, I have not even, like, I've been gone and then got home and started getting to this prepared. Um, I have not watched a single bit of TV today. Uh, 2018 Panini Cowell. The Kellogg's card? The hell? Is that correct, Sean? Panini Kellogg Superstar? F football Superstar Mbappe? The hell does it say Kellogg's on it? Ah, uh, that must be the family thing. Must have came in a cereal box or something. Anyway, Mbappe uh, in an 8-5. Ninety two, ninety three Panini stickers, Shaq in an eight five. This is twenty twenty one Parkside Best Trinity Rodman X one Challenge Cup in a ten. Another one of those somewhere. Uh, 05 tops, Aaron Rodgers in a nine. Seventy nine tops, Earl Campbell, very nice in an eight. Got uh, 92 grid, Ariton Sena in a 9.5. 19 optic, hollow, Mahomes in a 10. The Rogers isn't yours. Uh, I will have to check on that. I'm going to set it aside. I don't know who in the hell it would be. Because I sorted the order. I'll check on that. 67 tops, Lou Brock in a six. I know Card Seller sent one, um, and there's only two invoices, so I can figure the other one out. I've never gotten a card mixed up, so I'll have to find out what I did. Uh, 19 tops, Sepia Khabib in a 10. Here is 18 top trumped Mbappe World Football Stars in a 9.5. Yeah, give me a minute. I'll check after I finish showing the rest of them. Uh, here is a Kellogg's Mbappe in a 7. Twenty twenty tops F one Mick Schumacher in a nine point five. 
There's the sheet next door. Uh, yeah, it should be in that bar that we brought stuff up in. 19 Panini Tabloid PL Bukayo Saka in a 9. It would have been caught, Bryce. Um, when we packaged everything up, we would have found it. Um, I just don't. I did this one, so if that's in the wrong place, that's on me. Uh, the missus did the other invoice, so I will definitely check on that. Here is a Bukayo Saka in a 10. Out of almost 10,000 cards and never having a hiccup, I don't think that's too bad. <laughs> Here's 2020 F1 sticker Lewis Hamilton in a 9.5. And what possibly happened is it could have slid off one of these boxes, so I need to check. Uh, 94 Upper Deck World Cup English slash Spanish Mia Ham. In a 10. So. Give me one minute guys. You go get the list. You have one. I think that's it. Alright this is invoice number two. Give me one second guys. I want to make sure I get that squared away. All right, I see what happened. And this is why we keep all of the spreadsheets, guys. Okay, this one is yours. The 05 Upper Deck Rookie Premier. So, I had a Rogers. I grabbed the wrong one. That's what happened. So, this one is Sean's. The Tops is Mike's, who I have not shown yet. So, all is well. So, 9-5 on the Rookie Premier. So. Uh, Tice NBT. Yes, sir. We only submit to SGC. Thank you for catching that, though, Sean. I do appreciate that. Um, I, you did send a Rogers. You just did not send the tops. And we do that. That's proof right there. We keep everything on spreadsheets. It was a very easy. Uh, just look at the spreadsheet, see what what happened there, and fix it. And that's the beauty of keeping everything tracked and logged and everything like that. So. All right. All right. All right. We got two more, and then that will be this month's guys. We got next up is Richard Rush with twenty eight cards. Start him off with one of the hottest guys out there, 18 update Otani in a 10.
we got 2021 leaf metal draft silver mojo out of 30 portrait auto justin fields 10 on the card 10 on the auto kind of hard to see the auto with that pattern but justin fields 10 on the card 10 on the auto here is the uh series 2 2018 tops otani and a 9.5 Got first Bowman Chrome, uh, Jacob DeGrom in a 10. DeGrom also in an 8. This is 2020 Prism, Pink Prism, Auto, Anthony McFarland, 9.5 on the card, 10 on the auto. Chrome Update, Pink Refractor, Austin Riley in a 10. Base Update, Chrome, Austin Riley in a 10. If you didn't like that one, you can have this one. There's another Chrome update, Austin Riley, NA10. So three for three on the Rileys there. Got the 13 update, Garrett Cole, in a 9.5. Eighteen update Otani in a ten. T Higgins Orange Disco twenty twenty Prism in a ten. Pretty sweet looking card. Uh, he was at the show today too. T Higgins, Adrian Peterson was there. There was a lot of good players there today. Here's red, white, and blue prism, Van Jefferson, 9.5. Jalen Hurts, uh, 2020 prism draft, pink pulsar, and a 10. They must have had a photo booth, too, because they kept announcing photos. Yeah, they were taking, uh, you could do just photo op. No auto, but photo op right. with some of the players. Um, here is 18 Bowman Chrome. This card is blown up. Otani in a 9.5. I can't remember. There was somebody had one raw at the show. I think they were asking like 385 for it or something like that raw. Here is 13 update Garrett Cole in a 10. He just shut the Astros out one nothing tonight. Oh, Cole? Yeah. Did he use the sticky icky? I don't know. <laughs> Here is 2021 Leaf Metal Draft Najee Harris Flashback Auto Pink Wave out of 10. You got a 9 5 on the card, 10 on the auto. Damn, so Acuna has torn ACL. Oh, boy. That's not cool because I was literally when we were when we went to get something to eat after the the show. I'm a Nats fan, but I appreciate Acuna's game, and I really thought he had a chance this year to do the forty forty. It's just a, that's sad, man. Even as a a fan of a team in the Braves division, I have to say that is sad. Yeah. Um, outside of cardboard, outside of the hobby, I don't want to. A player like that his caliber getting hurt you know that's that just sucks so first Bowman 2014 Bowman Chrome DeGrom in a 9.5
So he's done this year. And maybe he didn't even make the All Star break yet. Yeah. I Man, that sucks. Yeah. Here's 19 update rookie debut Memorial Day out of 25. Kevin Biggio in a 9.5. Only good thing is he's young. Yeah, he is young. 19 Chrome update, Austin Riley, 9.5. The 19 update, Yellow, Austin Riley, 9.5. Here is 18 Chrome Update, Austin Meadows, and a 9. Twenty sixteen Prism Camo Prism out of 25, Devontae Adams, and an 8. Uh, this is 2020 Prism Draft Silver, Joe Burrow, and a 10. Congrats on this one, Richard, because as many of these, like, Don Russ cards that I've seen coming through here, it's this isn't an easy 10. So, uh, here's the 2020 Don Russ Canvas, Justin Herbert, and a 10. Seen a lot of Don Russ go out and come back and get nines, nine fives. So, congrats on the 10. Here is 2021 Leaf Metal Draft Patrick Sertain. Red Marble out of five, State Pride Auto. Nine on the card, 10 on the auto. Cool looking pattern on that one. Here is 2020 Leaf Metal Draft Portrait Auto Silver Wave out of 50. Jordan Love, 9 on the card, 10 on the auto. That's good news, Nats, because I've, I've got a good bit of both of those guys. I'm not selling just in my PC, but I, I want to see them two play. The thing is, the White Sox are going to be scary good because they've been good without them two. And you put them two back in there, they're going to be scary good. Here's Prism, Red Ice, T. Higgins. In a 10. The 2019. Um, I mean, it's the Rookie Cup. Uh, I don't honestly know, like, value of it. I have a bunch of different ones. Um, but I don't really know the value of it because stuff like that, I don't have any intent of ever selling. So... I honestly cannot answer that, Rod. Uh, Richard, very nice sub, man. You had some cool stuff in there. Them camo prisms, you don't see those. or Yeah, the camo prisms, the camo tops. You don't see that stuff too often. Those leaf cards, although it's uh, college uniforms. I'm really surprised more people don't like the college uniform stuff. Um, but the leaf cards look really sweet. So, very nice stuff. And last but not least, I don't know if he is still on. Uh, he was at the show and then he had to drive back to Delaware. So, he's probably pretty damn worn out. Um, but we got Mike Krutz. We met him for the first time. He came up to me at the show in May. And then he sent cards to submit with us. And I'm going to tell you. Uh, well, Guns isn't on here, but I know Guns was loving his stuff when we did the preview, and he did really, really well, so. But, he has 40 cards, 
Uh, he found some dollar box bangers today, too, that I think he's going to end up sending in. So, um, but let's start him off with a DeAndre Hopkins tops in a nine. Got the 2011 tops, league MVP, Tom Brady, just a cool photo and a 10. He was very happy with this one. Uh, 13 Prism Rookie Silver Auto. DeAndre Hopkins. 9-5 on the card. 10 on the auto. Drew Waters is supposed to be really good. He's not a guy that's been hyped up. But he's supposed to be a really good player. Which is most of the time when the guys that don't get hyped are really, really good. <laughs> so. Here is 0-2 score. Tom Brady in a nine. O four tops pristine Larry Fitzgerald in a nine. Got Chronicles Luminance out of ninety nine Chase Claypool in a ten. This is 04 Bowman Chrome Brady in an 8.5. Yeah, that Snorlax got a 10. That's that's pretty sweet, man. 13 Chrome Purple Refractor out of 499. DeAndre Hopkins in a 9.5. Thirteen Prism Hopkins nine point five. I think James is over here on eBay buying all of this stuff that y'all sent in. Uh, going on ESPN <laughs> and see if they had any updates. Oh, uh, they're on here saying he's done. Yeah. Uh, Fleer Tradition Award winner Brady in a ten. O three 3 tops, Brady in a 9.5. Uh, 88-89, Wayne Gretzky in an 8.5. So, let's go ahead and start the, tr the rumors out there. Where is Freddie Freeman getting traded? We'll just start the rumor mill. Since Braves don't have, what is it, Soroka? And Soroka's out, Acuna's out. They're not doing so hot. Um, oh, Shay's still on here. She heard me. She said, say what? Buying what? <laughs> I'm joking, Shay. I'm joking. I was joking with the guys. I'm joking. <laughs> Chronicles Luminance Bronze Justin Herbert in a 10. <laughs> Braves Twitter says complete tear of ACL. That is not good. Yeah. 18 Prism Ridley in a 10. That sucks, man. I I hate to see that kid hurt. Uh Here is 13 Prism Hopkins in a 10. And then here is where that Aaron Rodgers went. I had the two card, like the rookie premiere and the top. I just put the wrong one in the wrong stack. That was my mistake. 
There's a Rogers and a nine. Here is Chronicles Clear Vision Blue out of 99, Jonathan Taylor in a nine. O five O six Chris Paul nine five. The biggest thing, my biggest concern with him hurting his knee now is that kid had the potential to do, you know, to hit forty forty. I'm not concerned with him hitting home runs anymore. Um, I just don't know if it's going to affect his his stolen base. Uh, you know, the way he was able to steal. So that's going to be something to watch. Uh, whenever he gets to get back on the field, but here's 93 tops Derek Jeter in a nine Here is 2020 Chronicles luminance pink Justin Herbert in a 10 14 tops chrome x fractor Devonte adams and a 9.5 uh rick the only thing i could possibly think is because they didn't play the full year last year and you would think well they got to rest that's good but you got to think baseball well sports in general is such a grind and it's a lot of muscle memory and you know all that stuff it could be a thing, like, I know LeBron was arguing that blaming the injuries on the players not getting enough time off. Um, but if you think about it, the injuries started occurring in the playoffs. So if you go with that timeline, I mean, they played the whole year and then got hurt in the playoffs. So I don't really buy that portion of it. Um, I honestly think with less playing time last year and everything I, you know vladdy obviously worked out um maybe some of them other guys didn't and um you know maybe they didn't have the opportunity and they 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 just didn't last this year um here's oh four bowman fitzgerald i could that that could be completely wrong um, it's just a thought I had with the fact they didn't, it's just like, you know, a lot of people are blaming the sticky stuff on the batting averages being low, but you got to think baseball is a streaky sport. They got to be in that rhythm and that routine and they didn't really play much last year. So, um, here's 04 tops NFL player of the day, Fitzgerald in a 10. So, uh, the off-season workouts, though, you got to think, like, a guy like Acuna may have been over in the Dominican or something like that, um, and with COVID, he may not have been able to travel back to the States, and he might not have had the capability of working out like he would have been over here. Some of them guys probably went back home, and then they couldn't get back to, to the States, so it's just things you got to look at. Um, I don't know. It's it's just things that I've thought about. Uh, 2012 score, Russell Wilson in a 10. I mean, hell, Soto got hurt this year too, and he's built like a brick shit house and has been pretty injury-free, but not this year. Uh, 18 Optic Hollow, Ridley in a 9.5. Twenty eleven Brady and a ten. Here is twenty fifteen 
Cops Chrome, Odell Beckham, Pulsar in a 10. Pretty sweet card there. O five 5 Bowman Chrome, Brady in a 9. Here is the Chronicles Luminance Base, Justin Herbert in a 10. Chronicles Luminance Red out of 199, Clyde Edwards E. Lair in a 10. Here is Tops, the 04 Tops Collection, Larry Fitzgerald in a 9. Herbert Luminance Green in a 10. Herbert Chronicles Luminance Teal in a 10. Here is 04 SP Authentic Brady in a 10. Thirteen Chrome X Fractor DeAndre Hopkins and a ten. Chrome Refractor Stefan Diggs and a ten. Yeah, Oakland A's fan, that rumor is everywhere, and it's nothing that is new. That came out months ago. Um, I'm just going to tell people like this, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, I heard about it a couple months ago. There's been no information re relayed to me. Um, if it happens, it happens. Whatever. Um, we'll... We'll look at the situation when it happens, if it happens. I'm not going to play into rumors, because that's all they are is rumors. Uh, Chronicles Illuminance Blue out of 99, Jonathan Taylor in a 10. O three 3 Tops Collection, Tom Brady, and a 10. O four 4 Tops Pristine, Brady, and a 9. And last but not least, we have a 2012 Top Magic Russell Wilson and a 10. So very, very nice, Mike. Yeah, okay. I'm probably I could probably guess that uh you're hearing it or reading it on blowout forums. I don't get on those forums, but uh my guess would be that's where it's being rumored around because other people that I'm hearing talk about it I know are heavy participants of blowout forums. Um, so, you know, again, if it happens, it happens. Um, and we'll explore, you know, the situation at that point. Um, but at this moment, I don't know anything and uh, I'm not going to... I'm not going to be breaking news and saying whatever because I don't know. So, um, if it happens, it happens.
Whatever. Um, I won't be happy, but nothing I can do about it, because contrary to popular belief, I do not work for them, and nor do I own them. But it is always a funny room, or funny misconception, or whatever you want to call it. But, um, anyway, guys, uh... Nasman said a PSA called SGC and said we want to buy it. SGC would know that had PSA worried. Hey, that's that's true, man. Um, if you can't beat them, join them. I guess is what they say. I, I don't know. Um, if PSA can't even figure out their own company, and then they want to screw up. Well, that That's could be part thing. of the reason why they would want to buy them. They're like, how in the hell did y'all do this? We want the secret sauce. Right. That would be like... So, the way I see it is kind of like this. Imagine if Popeyes called up KFC and was like, hey, I want the Colonel's secret recipe. And KFC is like, well, I want that damn chicken sandwich y'all got that made everybody go crazy. So... I'll give you the Colonel's Secret Recipe if you give me those chicken patties for my sandwiches. Do you think Chick-fil-A, or not Chick-fil-A, but Popeye's and KFC would make that trade? Hell no. So I don't think it would happen, um, but who knows, money talks, and as we know, what walks. Um, so, like again, it's a rumor. I don't know anything about it. I'm not going to say yay nay because i don't know um but anyway guys i do appreciate everyone hanging out this is always fun james got to hang out this time uh first time having a guest doing the reveal y'all can see you know he he's seen all the behind the scenes stuff and this was a small order um so but he's seen how much work goes into this um, so yeah, guys, uh, again, you know, I, I, go back to the beginning of this video and, uh, oh shit, I don't have no non-disclosure Nats, man. I'll, I will come right out. Y'all know me. I'm going to tell you if I know something, I don't have a non-disclosure um, that's, uh, people that I've heard say that shit too, that's a lie. I've never signed nothing. Um, and y'all know I will speak my mind, so. Um, anyway, I appreciate all of you. If you didn't catch the beginning, please go back and watch the beginning of this video. There is some awesome stuff, um, at the beginning of this video. I, again, thank all of you. It's always fun doing this. Um, everybody that I got to meet today, everybody that came and hung out, came to dinner, all of that. Thank you guys. That is what this hobby is about. And, um, that's what makes all of this worth it. So I hope everybody has a great night. Um, what day are we on? Tomorrow's Sunday? It's, it's yeah. almost, it's almost. It's almost Sunday guys. So I hope you have a great Sunday. Um, a great rest of your weekend. And, uh. As always, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and until the next video, I'm out, and James is out.